Hi everybody, it's Emily. Um, welcome to Art with M, my channel. Um, so today I wasn't feeling too great or particularly inspired, so I decided I'd do a sketchbook tour instead of um, maybe an art challenge or um, just a random piece. Um, so let's talk about sketchbooks, uh, specifically I want to make a distinction between filling a sketchbook and f what I f call finishing a sketchbook. And I've filled sketchbooks before where all the pages have stuff on them and um, I've used all the paper up, but I wouldn't consider most of them finished in the sense that I did not work on them fairly regularly for a stretch of time. I would get a sketchbook, work in it for a while, then, you know, put it down once I got a new sketchbook and got excited about this new sketchbook to draw in, um, and then maybe pick it up even years later to finish up the rest of the pages in the older sketchbook. So I've done that a few times. Um, and I'm sure I've finished other sketchbooks um, than this one. Probably, but this is the only one that I can really remember semi-consistently working on. Um, and I think part of that has to do with the fact that it was really cheap. Um, I got this on a whim at Walmart for like $5. And full disclosure, I didn't really like the quality <laughs> of the paper. I mean, I guess you do get what you pay for in terms of a sketchbook, but... It was shrink wrapped in plastic, so there was no way for me to get a feel for the paper before buying it. Um, but I really liked the color, as you can see by my current sketchbook, which everyone is in love with this Canson Mixed Media XL sketchbook paper because it's just great. I mean, I'm sure some people don't like it, but I've heard lots of good things, and uh, here's me saying good things about it. So, this is my current small sketchbook my personal sketchbook as opposed to ones for classes, but um, I do have a bigger version of this as well, like the A4 size. So um, yeah, I fell in love with the color, but um, we're not talking about this sketchbook today because I'm still working on this one. And um, I, I'm i just gonna set that aside now because that's not for today. But this one, shrink wrapped at Walmart, $5 I think. Um, I bought it a while before I actually used it, which is the weird thing. Like I bought it and then I was working on schoolwork in my like class sketchbooks. Um, and then finally decided to start working on this one and was a little disappointed with the paper quality, like I said. Um, this is a Royal N. Langnickel. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong in some way. Um, fashion colors sketchbook I think um, and as you can see it, it's like falling apart at the spine and uh, I only put one sticker on it I've uh, I, I, I have I have a desire to decorate my outside of my sketchbooks more but I haven't really done it and I sh probably should um, but yeah this one it's it's falling apart but I did finish it by my previous definition so I'm not particularly proud of every drawing in here because again I think the key to completing this sketchbook was the fact that it wasn't precious it was five dollars a huge amount of pages and since I didn't feel particularly attached to the paper like I, di I didn't feel like I was wasting super good quality paper on not the best quality drawing so I did some more experimental stuff than I maybe normally would because I wasn't worried about using up the pages and maybe messing them up because I had so many to choose from um so I did oops <laughs> I'm gonna have to edit that out that's my phone number my old phone number don't worry about it um and I wrote the date that I started um, and I it took me about a year to finish it but that um, it wasn't like I was drawing in it every day I'm pretty inconsistent with 
sketching in the same place all the time. Um, oops, my computer just went to sleep. Hope that kept recording. Um, so, like, I, I would I would sketch maybe in notes on loose leaf or in my other sketchbooks, um, but I did keep picking this one up um, fairly regularly. So the paper feels kind of thick, but it has a lot of bleed through. Um, I didn't, oh, I never came back to do the first page. I decided to do that, that trick to leave the first page blank because if you, there's always so much pressure on that first page um, to do something amazing so that your sketchbook looks good. But I ended up not actually coming back and doing one. So maybe this sketchbook actually isn't finished, um, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. Um, I have some tracing paper or uh, transfer paper, graphite transfer paper in here that I was just carrying around. I did a kind of leaf tutorial video. Um, they had like a printable and it um, was explaining how to draw flowers and stuff. And so had you like curl the leaf and draw it from different angles. But I think I did that somewhere else. I don't think I did that this far forward. I think I just put it in the front so I wouldn't get too lost. Um, so let's jump into the actual drawings. Um, so this is my OC Carmet. Um, I don't want to say too much about them because I haven't really used them in a thing yet, but they're named after a mythical element that was used to create the Philosopher's Stone because um, I just thought that was a really cool name. Like I just strung some letters together and then looked it up to see if it was a word and it was a really cool word. So there you go. Um, this was like, this is the stuff I'm talking about. Like this is acrylic paint that um, I believe I was painting something else, something not in my sketchbook. And I just had a lot of this like kind of burgundy paint left and I didn't want to waste it. So I decided to do some very sketchy roses in here. This is not something I would feel as comfortable doing on a super nice sketchbook because I'd be worried about it like going on the next page or whatever. And then um, this is Ishigo from um, Tokyo Mimu. And I actually was really proud of the line art on this one and even colored her a little bit, but I did get some bleed through. And then I've like, I already in these first four pages, I've done like colored, uh, color erase or color Eno. I'm not sure which one this is. And then ink and then acrylic paint and then some more inks and colored pencil and markers, I believe. And some probably pit brush pens and more colored pencil and just different things. And here's another Tokyo Mew Mew. I did a lot of the blue and purple uh, Pilot Color Eno stuff here. I really like how this one looks. Um, and then I've, I even used some super, like the, the woodless graphite pencils to do some shading on here. I actually had to spray fixative on this so it wouldn't rub off. Um, but I drew a portrait of a classmate and then my pen pal, some fan art of Metaton and Peridot. And then sort of like pin up -y thing and just some playing around with different poses. Um, this was some concepts for my iris pastel drawing that I did a while back. These, there's a lot of pictures of like, if it's a concept sketch, as opposed to just a sketch for a sketch's sake, um, the concept sketches I often will make into a painting or a drawing and then post it to my Instagram. Some of these sketches are also on Instagram, but um, I mean, you can go there and check it out and see which ones. I did. I do delete stuff from my Instagram after a while sometimes, but um, this was the final concept before I actually put it onto a big piece of pastel paper. Some more fan art, uh, Jade from Homestuck. Again, experimenting with marker with charcoal um, just a lot of mixed media stuff. Um, I think that's a self-portrait actually. Um, some palette 
experimentation with some pastels, which went on to this side because I didn't fix it. It's still smudgeable. But like, I wasn't particularly attached to this because it's a sketchbook. It's not necessarily for finished pieces. So I didn't worry about this getting messed up because it actually kind of looks cool, but with all the colors, some more swatches, something that I covered up <laughs> with more pastel. And then just a lot of like practicing with different colors and strokes, br uh, brush strokes and marker and posing and just <laughs> fuck wasps. Um, I, I think I had to knock a wasp nest down outside my house. Um, and like just like there's nothing drawn on these few pages really. It's just testing color and even like just it's a kind of a palette it's a sketchbook it's more of a place for experimenting um some lapis oh here's that um that leaf stuff i just i had like a really dried out sharpie that i was using apparently but it was just uh how to draw plants tutorial that i found um here's some more of the thing um and then some more this is another oc xylia she's a satyr there's her wine there's a lot of her um then some more watercolor stuff and like the watercolor obviously super bleeds through um you'll see at the end of the sketchbook that um i did a lot of swatch tests to see what inks would feather or bleed through or just ghost or whatever but watercolor didn't do too super well like it would soak in super fast because it's not watercolor paper um but i still was able to have fun with it and then here i had some fun uh color blending experiments they're kind of weird looking but i enjoyed experimenting a flamingo some succulents <laughs> the spectrum of what i look like when i put effort into my appearance and then just like normal and when i don't feel like wearing contacts and just that's me. Um, some of these pages I just didn't draw on. Like if I did feel like the bleeding through was an issue, I just skipped a page and didn't worry about it. And like that's why there's a difference between filling and finishing to me. Because like I feel like this is finished and I don't need to work on it anymore. Even though there are still a few blank pages or blank spaces, I'm not super worried about it. I didn't treat this sketchbook as something precious that needed to be perfect. And that's why I'm okay showing the some of these like kind of embarrassing, not so great drawings. Like I don't really like how this one came out. Um, and then just drawing differently than I would like super messy scribble shading, um, some more self portrait. Um, and then here's just playing with markers and seeing how they layer with each other and skipping a bleed through page, skipping a whole page because of the bleed through and then some more markers. Um, yeah, these markers just, uh, didn't do that so well, but I did learn my lesson and I, uh, had some plastic folders for like for school that I cut to size of a sketchbook and I'm using that for the next sketchbook and I'll put it like behind a marker page as a shield to save the page not the back of the page but save the next page um and then um some very soft graphite some more fan art sailor moon um very I was actually watching sailor moon here and doing very very quick drawings of her like crushing Luna while she's sleep flailing or whatever. Um, this is another OC, um, the name is Ace. And I don't know why he's so sad. This is just like terrible anatomy. I don't know what even happened here. Zoocyte, also terrible. Like these are not my best work, but I was okay. And I'm okay showing them because I just let go. Like I just let go of that perfectionism, at least for this sketchbook. I'm still pretty 
bad at getting caught up in the perfectionist streak. Um, I have this like two millimeter red lead in a lead holder that I was playing around with for these. Um, yeah, markers do not take well on this paper. They super bleed. Like I put them in the lines and then they blood out like, that's like three millimeters or something. What is this? What is this tiny waist with these giant hips? Don't worry about it. Um, I like how this pose looks. Um, um, don't really have much to say about the, what is this hand? What is this hand doing? Don't know who this is supposed to be. And like, just like, none of these look like they were drawn by the same person because I was just letting myself experiment. Um, just really trying different things. This looks so anime, except for the nose, I guess. <laughs> like, I just have this on one of the pages. Like, I really uh, just kept kept moving, however slowly. There's another Xylia. Um, another Xylia, another Xylia. She's fun to draw. I really like her, uh, the fluffy hair I gave her. Um, so Pokemon. Oh yeah, I did, um, like, I did like seven days of the favorite Pokemon type challenge, like the Pokemon 30 day challenge. I did not finish that. Don't, don't even worry about it. Um, here's one of my cats. Um, and I'm, I'm proud of some of these Pokemon drawings. Like I really like how the Mimikyu, I really like the different line weight I gave it on the pencil sketch. Oh <laughs> yeah, I ruined, uh, I'll show you the back after, but I totally ruined this, um, the favorite normal type, which I'm pretty sure was Jigglypuff. But it, uh, I'll show you why <laughs> it's got, uh, it kind of bled through when I tried to add highlights to the eyes. It just got kind of hellish in there. Um, I was planning out making a plush, um, of an owl. And this was planning out a Christmas gift. There's me, how I sit in a chair. <laughs> like, you're not supposed to sit like this. Am I L from Death Note? We just don't know. Um, but yeah, I was having, I've been having like knee pain for over a year now and this did not help. That's not, it didn't cause the injury, but it did not help. Um, oh no, naked. Don't, don't flag me for this, these artistic nudes. Um, and then had fun with the curls and some more pastels. And I'm pretty sure I posted these to Instagram, but I might've cleaned it up recently. But I did use some fixative, but it didn't do the best job. Um, Tracer, I don't even play Overwatch. I just really like the characters. Another lapis. I do a lot more fan art than I thought I did. Look horrifying. No line art. Back of lapis because I used markers and it bled through. <laughs> Just, oh man, I love, this is like when you hide the line art layer in Photoshop. I love it. Um, this like, oh, ho, ho. <laughs> like anime girl laugh. Uh, my taco design that I totally didn't realize was going to be taco until like, I finished the pose and decided it looked just just sassy enough to be taco and I gave him this beautiful flowing hair and I really like how some of these lines and the shading came out. I also really like these. Um, yeah, I just like, I mean, you can see I got even more wild with these last few pages that are all wibbly, but we'll see. Um, yeah, like if you compare these things in my sketchbook to some of my like digital paintings or more complete works, they're super different. Like these are different from my style, whatever my style even is. That's me again. Um, that's me being super tired and having crazy eyes. I don't know what I look like, I think, because all my self portraits look different. Um, 
I don't remember what this concept was, but I kind of like the posing of the hair, so maybe I'll redo something with that. Um, I think that was another attempt at taco. <laughs> oh, I decided to um, try to pack for a trip by drawing. Oh no, this wasn't for packing. This was me trying to uh, get rid of a lot of my clothes and I could only keep something if I could remember it and draw it here. Um, actually, this is like one of my favorite shirts to wear and this one too. Um, I don't know how to draw boys' hair. I need to get better at that. This one was a fun experiment. Um, but it ruined the pages. They're all warped. Um, <laughs> like, some of these... At, at this point, I was kind of getting tired of the paper being... Like, not holding up to what I wanted to be able to do with it. So I was just kind of doing really quick sketches. Like, just big old brush, big old pencil, like... Just trying to uh, fill it up, <laughs> trying to do calligraphy. Um, some weird. I had a dry, a brush pen that was drying out, so I did. I kind of echoed this very early page here. I didn't even realize. Um, and some of these pages are just kind of like dead, like not much on them, but. I just kept going even if I didn't, like if I didn't like something, like I don't even know what was going on here, I just was like, well, it's uh, it's done. Like either I would try to fix it or I would decide it's not worth trying to work on anymore and let it be. Um, some, like I really did some weird stuff here. Like this is some water soluble crayons, I'm pretty sure. And it did not work because I didn't use waterproof ink <laughs> and it bled everywhere. Well, it's kind of cool in the back though, weirdly. Um, some rows, some, I have like a box of pastel Crayola crayons and I had fun playing with that. I don't even know where, I guess that's from the back of this. Yeah, I guess so. Um, playing with some ink tint pencils, probably? Maybe. Maybe just normal colored pencils. I don't remember what I used for that. Another self-portrait. Also doesn't look anything like it. Um, didn't actually finish this one. Um, trying to get better at drawing like body rolls and less of like a idealized body type. This was definitely ink tints. Um, I had fun building up the colors and doing her hair. It was really fun to do the texture in her hair. Friska, looking way too nice to be Friska. Um, very rough pose. This was for like a text-based adventure game that I was trying to get through a maze. To, to even, like, this isn't even drawing. Like, it's just game notes. Like, I really just put whatever I felt like in this. <laughs> what is this? Please tell me what I was drawing here. L like, what, the, what is this? Um, and just like making marks, making practice marks, little squiggles and things and ruining a painting by adding color to it, or ruining a drawing by adding color to it, rather. Um, so I'll just, I guess, stop talking about specific pieces and more in general again. Um, yeah, I've always been bad about finishing sketchbooks, like I said, because I always wanted it all to be perfect and good. And I think it's kind of a big step for me to be considering putting this video up on YouTube for anyone to see um, some of my less good works if you could consider sketches works. They're not really completed works. Once you accept that sketches are just sketches and they don't need to be perfect, it really helps you. Um, and I think we're getting to swatches. <laughs> I was so happy to finish it, yeah. 
So I did. I was doing some swatches for that lapis. I wanted to try mixing Prismacolor and Copics. And then like I have every swatch ever for everything and everything bled through. So when I was making these swatches, I was just pretty aware that I wasn't gonna have a great time. Um, so yeah, that's this sketchbook. Um, yeah, if you have trouble completing a sketchbook, get a super cheap, low quality one like this. You might not get the best results, um, but it definitely helped me with process. Um, just like get a, a better sketchbook, like something this, like this or better quality if you want your sketchbook to have like really good end results. But if you're just trying to get past that roadblock of actually completing a sketchbook, something like this, $5, there's even cheaper sketchbooks, I'm sure, um, that you can just kind of treat as a burner sketchbook and do whatever your artsy whims tell you to do. Like, I don't know. I just, I... Again, don't like the sketchbook itself as a final product, but it definitely helped me as an artistic process going through and filling it to what I would consider finished. Um, because I, I'm satisfied with what I got out of this rather than what it has in it, if that makes any sense. Um, so. I mean, <laughs> I'm not a professional, obviously, since I can't get through a sketchbook, but I hope that this advice, I guess, and this sketchbook tour can inspire you to not be so hard on yourself to make a perfect sketch or a perfect sketchbook. So, um, thanks again for watching, and uh, if you sat through this whole messy half- scribble half actual drawing sketchbook tour thanks so much if you liked it you know give me a thumbs up subscribe hit that bell the whole spiel you know and um i am planning on posting a video every two weeks and then ramping it up if i do well and enjoy the process and think i can do that much um so hope you enjoyed it bye I also meant to start this video with a disclaimer that I might have to stop and abruptly um, if any cat nonsense happened, but they were all sleepy beautiful angels in the windowsill, so maybe the cat nonsense will have to wait for another time.